Frostbite. Frozen. Don't get away. Retribution. It's time for a flash. Scoundrels! I think you've had enough. About time you tell us your plan. No? Plan? What plan? We just taught you a lesson, but clearly you weren't paying attention. If you don't spill whatever you're scheming against Liyue, we'll be forced to use harsher methods. I'm telling the truth. There's no scheme. If you're telling the truth, then why would you, a member of the Fatui, suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chinksa village? Fine. If you really want to know, then, well, I was about to. About to... what? Pick berries over there. Um... I must admit, I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. It's not an excuse. I rarely have a free morning, and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. Think about it. I'm here alone, and Chinksa Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. What could I be scheming anyway? Judging by how he's looking at us, it does seem like he feels like he's the victim here. So you have nothing to do with the occupation of Fonmu Carpenter's warehouse? Fonmu Carpenter's warehouse? Where's that? I swear, I only came here to pick berries. That's all. So it wasn't the Fatui who took over Master Lu's warehouse after all. I also feel that he's telling the truth. Uh, um, whoopsie! I misjudged the situation and offended you. My apologies. Our, uh... Our exchange only represents my personal views. If you wish it so, you can file a complaint to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Exchange? This woman, she's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us, Fatui. Yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may... try to solve this problem with force once again. Paimon's in! Darn you! How can you wear that solemn face while bullying me like this? What's your choice, then? I'll get back to my berries. What a bittersweet ending. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time away from work. My intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. No worries. It's always nice to teach the Fatui a lesson. <laughs> Let's keep moving towards Master Lu's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice, after all. Oh, <laughs> 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 
one is... An invoice from One Min Restaurant. Some dining tables and chairs. This one is... Wang Sheng Funeral Parlors. Oh, so they make coffins too! Ms. Ganyu, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. I promise to help you and I'll keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Fanmu Carpenters. We've brought it back. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can solve this problem. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and... have a nice chat with the owner? Guess we can rest a bit. Isn't it Huixin from the Yuahai Pavilion? I remember you. I told you that all of my transactions are included in the records. My tax declarations are scrupulous as well. I do hope that my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Groundless accusations? Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behavior immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. Uh, no. No. I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fraudulent sources of profit. Haven't I made myself clear? Mr. Dongsheng, you've already been proven guilty of tax evasion. I just came here to see if you'd confess. What? P proven guilty? H how come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. Time for the finishing blow! Mr. Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? I... it... It's an invoice from Fanmu Carpenters. I... I'm... Master Lu, he... I didn't... Do you admit to tax evasion? This transaction was absent from the tax record. <sighs> I didn't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Indeed. We wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Bolai's aid. <sighs> Bolai? That imp from Wanyo Boutique? So he told on me behind my back. Hmm. He's got his own share of dirty laundry. Oh? Mr. Dongsheng, I'd like to hear a little more about this dirty laundry. Would you care to elaborate? I don't think you'll need my guidance for what comes next. Oh, yes, thank you, Ms. Ganyu. I can take it from here. <laughs> That's good. 
I must say, you're truly impressive, Ms. Ganyu. Your enemy knows you best. To think, you came up with this plan and executed it so masterfully. <laughs> it's actually one of your father's, the Tianshu's, old tricks. I just took some inspiration from it. M uh, my father? Pitting your opponent against their enemies and watching them drag each other down from an advantageous position... That's how Uncle Tian managed to keep his position in the Qixing secure for so many years. I figured that as Uncle Tian's daughter, you'd naturally grasp your father's strategies. So, I decided to use one of your father's tricks and play it out for you to see. <sighs> I can see it now. Clearly, I still have a lot to learn about my father. I'm really grateful, Ms. Ganyu. <laughs> You're the kindest mentor I've ever had. Thank you. Ganyu solved both Boishin's work and family problems! Two birds with one stone! Oh, you've helped me so much. You must... You must allow me to repay your kindness. Ah, uh, that's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal, hmm? The Traveler and Paimon are invited as well. I appreciate your help. All right, come on, Ganyu. Just say yes. Let's eat. Oh, come on. It's just a meal. If it's just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Huixin. <laughs> Actually, I've already booked Senor Kiosk. I need a moment to prepare everything first. Let's meet there in a while. Hmm. All right. We dare not refuse such generosity. <laughs>